off for a golf lesson. Needed. So Mr. Shields, I'm on my way. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy and I've got the man himself, Liam Harrison, in for a lesson, Golf Vlogs UK. And Liam's been struggling a little bit over the last few weeks and it's probably a, a, a fault we've had for a few months now in his swing. He's been playing a lot of golf but not practicing, so we've gave him a bit of a kick, kick up the arse there and got him working, working out better. And it's only a couple of things, so Liam generally his left hand is his biggest culprit. This left hand has a massive tendency of going too weak. So I'm gonna keep the club straight and just turn it more around, turn the title symbol more to the left, the other way, sorry. So show us what you normally do. So Liam generally gets his hand a little bit too much this way. And that, as a consequence, opens the face up too far and then leaks it to the right. But Liam doesn't always leak to the right because coming through the golf shot, Liam is very good at rotating the club face back to a more square slash closed position but then that gives Liam two way misses he either misses to the right because the face already open he over rotates it and it goes left or he absolutely judges it perfect and it goes straight but it's a hard kind of thing to battle with all the time Liam right no consistency is it no so when I watch his vlogs I notice that that left hand getting weaker so if you've ever seen one of Liam's gloves and I'm sure there'll be a golf vlogs UK version of this coming soon <laughs> do you reckon <laughs> t-shirts <laughs> golf mates gloves we've always kind of worked on this idea of being able to see these two knuckles now Liam just without kind of thinking too much just show us what you do with your left hand if you don't mind so set up to the ball and get rid of the left hand at the moment is pretty good what happens as Liam gets to the ball and you might see it on the vlogs he starts moving this left hand and right now from this view and I'm going to give you kind of Liam's view already those blue dots are not visible i can just make out one of them so what we've worked on today is to strengthen that left hand more from the start and then as liam settles into his actual shot he holds it a lot better so keep holding it strong there does that feel strong yeah and that now is perfect and when you're ready give that one a hit shot really nice I would have showed you on the tracer but I was still in front of flight scope then I'll do another one in a minute what I liked about that shot there it sounds meatier the connection is better the ball flight is better if anything when Liam holds it straight uh, holds it better with his left hand he'll hit it slightly to the left because the grip is correct but then because of the other habit of over rotating the face it'll go a little bit left so keep that left hand strong make sure you can see those two knuckles almost overemphasize that left hand grip I love that strike now that is great grip but too active with the hands and then this is the outcome so the straight line that's target this has gone left of target the path is incredible the face is left. It's left because the grip is good and then Liam rotates his hand. And the carry distance there was 173 for a seven iron. And it is such, it just sounds like a much better hit. So the next stage, what we've done is we've gone back to that same left hand grip, but got Liam the freedom of allowing that club face to stay slightly more open. So I've got an alignment stick here just out in the, in the uh, grass just here. That is right of our target line. So hold it strong again, Liam, in your left hand. So you can see those two blue dots. Guys, everyone on YouTube, when you're watching these videos, make sure that we can see that left hand, don't we? Don't Absolutely. Let him off on it. Absolutely. Comment and give it him, because otherwise he'll be on the third wall. And then from that, then I want you to get the sensation you're going to keep the face quieter through the shot, slightly to the right. It's a quiet hand position through the shot. Bit of a heavy strike. But look what we see. A much straighter goal shot. It was a little bit more of a drawy shape that time. A little bit of too much path and a little bit too much face. But that is a much more manageable goal shot and a straighter goal shot as that. I think that's more bad connection that caused those numbers to fluctuate a little bit too much. So strong with the left hand grip and don't let it move. And you're going to be quiet with the hands through the ball. Beautiful way better 
way better. So again, path is incredible. Face is just that little bit left, but honestly, Liam hits it way better when he's only got one miss. And this is the miss we want to see with Liam because it's, if it goes a little bit left, it's a meteor strike, it's a better hit. It's just that the hands are becoming a little bit active and that is an old habit. Well, it's creeped back in, that's for sure. The grip is a killer. The grip ever since I've known you has, has hurt you because you, you sometimes you hold it really good and then by the time you set up and I see it from loads and loads of golfers, they rotate the hands to set. I was thinking, you know, like Adam's family. Remember the thing in Adam's family? <laughs> It's a bit like that, and that's kind of what happens with the grip, really. It's, it's easy to go back to old habits, though, isn't it? Oh, oh 100%. I'm going to record this one on video so you can see it as well. Okay. So we're thinking left hand grip strong, and then quiet with the ball, quiet with the hands going through the ball, keep that face quieter. Oh, shame about the strike, I thought the swing was excellent. I'll show you that swing. I'll show everyone else as well. So this was the last swing. And this is what we really worked on this left hand, keeping it strong there. And I'm going to show you this. So keep an eye on that left hand, watch this. So that now is perfect grip. It's still perfect. It's still perfect. See how that little fidgeting there and it's we can't stop that fidgeting because that's kind of a habit of yours and you've done that forever probably in your golf, but it does just kind of start to move that left hand. That's actually really good. Let me show you everyone as well that is watching uh, the earlier swing. Just, so just watch this left hand here. So this is earlier on. We start with a very good grip, but watch how it fidgets and fidgets and fidgets and fidgets. And now that left hand, and you'll be able to spot it between the two. Let me just get rid of this line. So here on the left hand, the, the strapping of the left hand is already starting to point to target and no single blue dot is visible at all after we can see way more of the strapping of the left hand here and it's probably not really visible on camera there but we can start to see more of that knuckle in here which is great it's a massive difference and then when we're ready to hit oops this is what we've really been wanting to work on. So Liam has great rotation, certainly upper body rotation is superb. This is another area, oops, let me get rid of the circle, I want a line. This right here is another huge improvement on Liam's swing of late, that he's moving into this left hand side really well. He's, he's almost put this kind of pillar of strength and power through that left leg. That sound good? Absolutely. Also, it's better. It's going to go on course, isn't it? You swing up. You just. This is how we want you to swing on the golf course, and then from there, then, as Liam comes through and hits the shot, great impact. Now, typically, the hands rotate. Let's see what the hands are doing this time. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Let me see if I've got a really, really old one, because there's, there's a, there's a. I, re I reckon I've got a really old. Um, video where you used to flip like crazy this is going back all the way to this is going all the way back to lytham okay this is probably the first time i ever saw liam uh, just over a year ago left hand was mega mega weak and just watch this hand rotation here right that was more like a scoop that one actually let me just get another one but the thing is it was hit, so hit and miss it didn't happen every single time kind of really aggressive hand rotation I don't actually know if that is the first one. I think there's earlier ones than this. I might be the second one. Eh? I think this is the second lesson. I don't, I don't think we've got the first one still on file, but it used to be so super flippy. But what I like about this one, we've got arms extended and crossed. And even if I just pull this video up to that point here and show you, it's probably one of my favorite swings that I like to show. This is Alexander LeVay, the French tour player. Right, we look at that there, lovely arm extension, right arm is extended over left without the hands getting flippy. And we see our very own Liam Harrison Golf Logs UK at it. And it's not just the colour of, of the top that's similar, the arm action's a lot more similar as well. Alexander LeVay kind of leans back a little bit, but I'm much more um, comfortable with Liam moving into the ball and getting that, that contact. Left hand is the key for Liam. If you can get that left hand, 
and then not fudge it around too much. The difference is huge. Do you agree? It's the fudging, I can't stop that. I'm like this, am I? I can't stop. He's a fidgeter. He is a fidgeter. He can sets up to it really well and just keeps moving his hands, keep moving his hands. If we can get that to stay quieter, I think the difference would be huge. You keep that left hand where it is, almost in, a, in an aggressively strong position. That sounded awesome. Straight. Oh, little baby draw. Beautiful. So, our mission at the moment is to give Liam this shape and I mean, I'm not bothered about a draw, that's not so much of it. If we want to either finish it on target or finish it left. We want nothing over there. Because if we get anything over there, we have held it weak and then we've, we're trying to rescue it with the hands too much. I'd rather Liam to hold it strong and if he does use his hands a little bit too much, that's the miss. Or just bring that back in a little bit straighter and then that's when the hands are not doing as much aggressive. That's the target, isn't it? It's good so, to know though, just the hands, hopefully. Liam's got a very good golf swing, it's just that he has this underlying grip issue and then he fidgets. It's because he's, he's a he's a decorate. artist. <laughs> Not a decorator, an artist. <laughs> Keep that left hand where it is. Quiet hands through the ball. I love that strike. I love it. I didn't pick up for some reason, but still just slightly left the target. So, that is that. Liam Harrison or Alexander LeVay, there's not much difference. Ball flight, a little bit more of a draw. And then it's job is a good one. It's good, isn't it? Do you see why I keep coming back? Simple. Well, start, start playing like it's on the cusp. I miss the cameras. I can't play. I need, I need the cameras. <laughs> I should come round in the right. Hit like on this video if you think me and Liam should get a course vlog. If it gets what should be a good target. What do you all that is? Likes. Push the ball. Likes? Oh, Just likes. 100 likes would be really good for me. That'll take some doing. Okay, if he gets 100 likes, we'll get a vlog. I reckon you, me versus Pete and his dad. That sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to sign out? Absolutely. Right, thank you very much for Rick for doing this. And don't forget, keep watching my videos, Golf Vlogs UK. Make sure you subscribe to be a golf mate and keep guessing McGraw scores for when the awesome prizes what are coming your way what's the next what's the next game you've got next one's a weekend president's major and it's can i guess of course you can it's Se bogey 70 oh bogey two rounds um, so oh. it's against the course rick can you want to explain what bogey comp is to everyone right bogey competition is whatever your handicap i.e mine seven so on seven holes i'll have a shot so i'm first hole at charlton where i play par four stroke five if i par that with a shot that's a win but bogey it'll be a half because they have a shot. Vice on, vice on. So it's, like it's match play versus the golf course. So you've got to put either he's going to be up, up in the match or down in the match. The more up he is in the match, the more he's beat his handicap by, the more down he's in the match. It's my favourite format of golf. No, it's honestly. Yeah. I probably hate it. Love it. Right, I'm going to say you are going to be two up. Yeah, I am. For two rounds. I, I, for two, so four up in total? Or no, one two, up? Round, two up in total. Yes, that'd be a good good one. That means a technically does, does two the score follow on? Yeah. Of so, so if you're two up after the first round, you start the second round two up. Yeah. Awesome. I like that. So yeah. That's quite cool. I'm gonna go two up. And if this video gets more than hundred likes, we'll get a vlog going up. What about dislikes? We don't want any of them. Two hundred dislikes. Don't you? <laughs> well, there'll be one for I know who that's from. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, should, I should stop that. Thank you very much for watching. You heard him. Press that like button for me. We'll take on Pete and his dad and me and Rick. And he can have his Nike uh, golf shirt on for his all in one. Nike. Nike. <laughs> I'll, see you, I'll see you soon. Guys, thanks for watching. And uh, can give Liam loads of support. He does a great job, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.